Hi, this is Michelle with Owl Star Stampers, and today I'm going to be showing you a really cute card using the Lovely You bundle, which is featuring the Lovely Labels Pick a Punch and the Lovely You stamp set. Here is what the card looks like, and make sure you stick around to the very end so I can tell you how to get the free tutorial to this card along with three others. So let me show you some of these amazing products. Again, here is the card we're going to be making today, and wouldn't this be so beautiful in so many different color schemes? So you're gonna need the Lovely You stamp set, and this actually comes in a bundle, and you can get this punch, which creates two different types of labels in several different sizes. The biggest is a one inch, and then they just can get smaller from there. So this is what the punch looks like. It is really, really cool. To get started, this card is just going to be very simple and it's just going to have lots of stamping. We're going to be using our Thick Whisper White. This is just eight and a half by five and a half and we're going to fold it in half um, at four and a quarter. And again, all these measurements and pictures are in the free tutorial that I'll tell you more about at the end of the video. So there we have that. Then I have a piece of regular Whisper White that I believe is five inches by three and three quarters. I am gonna grab my Stampin' Pierce mat to stamp with. And then I went ahead and I took a one inch strip, I believe it was by three and a half inches, and I stuck it in that punch and I punched one end, and this is one of the ends. This is what it looks like, and then I turned it around and I did the other end. So you can get labels in whatever size length that you want, and then that punch has two different sizes, and you can make them skinnier. Yeah, this is the one inch side. So this is gonna be, I'm going to stamp this, um, because it is gonna be my guide on where to stamp my little leaves and flowers. So I grabbed, isn't the font in this set just so pretty? I grabbed the stamp set, the stamp sentiment that says miles apart but still in my heart. Um, oh my gosh, you could pick any of these to go on here. And I'm just going to mount that on a block and we need, I had Memento Black ink. Again, use whatever ink color you want. If you want it just like mine, I use Memento Black. And... The first thing we're gonna do is stamp the label. So it's gonna help me kind of position where my other things are going to go. So just like that, um, there is our label. Let me clear, clean this off and put it back. And then I'll grab out the other stamps that we're going to be needing from here, which are we're going to be using this little leaf right here, this little flower, this one, and this flower. So I have those all kind of stuck in the front of my case. The colors of ink I use, I chose some brighter colors. I chose Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, and Granny Apple Green. So I wanted this card to be kind of bright. Summary, so I have my ink right here. So these are the inks. This looks a little red, but I promise it's Melon Mambo, it's pink. So these are the colors I have. And we're gonna be starting with the green. So let me set this aside and get my little green leaf on the block. This is the one we're gonna do first. Okay, so what I did is I have my little uh, background piece here and I have my little label that I know I kind of want it to go right about there. So I um, inked up this little leaf and I was like, okay, I want one to go there. So I kind of slid this down a little bit and then I stamped it. Then I kind of put it back where I wanted it. And then I was like, okay, I want a leaf to come off the end here. So then I'm gonna move it out of the way a little bit and then I'm gonna stamp it. And this is how I kind of positioned it. And then next I wanted one to come off towards the bottom. 
So I'm just going to move that and stamp just like that. So that's kind of, that's how I started. Started with building up the different background on this card. I think that's it for this one. So I'm cleaning it off. And next I'm going to come in with this, this little one. And this is also going to be in green. But I am going to stamp it off on a piece of paper just to make it a little bit lighter of a green. So I stamped it off once on just a scrap piece of paper. And then I want it to come kind of down like this. So I'm going to move that label and stamp. So can you tell how it is a little bit lighter of a green, but it's still Granny Apple Green. So that's it for that one. Now we're done with that one. I'm going to clean it off and we're going to go into our Daffodil Delight. So I'm going to close this up and I'm going to grab the Daffodil Delight. Nice bright yellow and I'm going to grab this image right here and we're going to stamp three of these in this color. So I want one to go kind of like here. I want one kind of down here. And then I want one at the bottom kind of peeking out. Just like that. Whoa, I almost dropped that. So that's kind of where we're at now. We're done with the yellow. See, this card does not take very long. Next up is our Melon Mambo, which is one of my favorite pinks. And we're going to take our Melon Mambo bright pink and that little flower. And this little flower, we're just going to add a few of these in here. We're going to put one kind of up here. I'm going to add one down here. We're going to put one... I did it. I'm going to do this one a little bit different, kind of like up in there. And then maybe one peeking out down here like that. So kind of like that. And then I went ahead and I stamped one on scrap paper and I fussy cut it out. So you can just pretend like I did that. I already did that. So it's already done just like that. Let me clean this off so I don't create another mess. And I will show you how we're going to finish this card off. So let me put these stamps away real quick. And all right, we have these in here. And now the I grabbed, I wanted a little bit something more to the background. So I did grab my aqua painter. And this just has what just regular water in it. And then I use my black memento um, ink. And you can just add a drop of reinker in here or use um, ink from like ink from the lid. I'm just pulling it from the side of the lid to get some black. So then I have just water on my pen here. I love doing this. It just adds a little something. And then I'm going to tap it with my take your pick tool or you can grab an ink pen. And I'm just gonna add a few little speckles to this card. Just kind of like that. Then you're just gonna wipe this off on a paper towel and it will get your brush nice and clean again. But it's just water. So that and it's not it kind of looks like a gray but that's okay if you want it really black add your reinker and then you'll get it um black like black black a more bolder color is what i'm trying to say okay so to put this together we're going to flip this over and we're going to add our stampin dimensionals um, because it's white on white i want to lift it up a little bit and look, I ran out, so I'm going to use my edge, and I'm just ripping it. I'm just tearing it. You can use your scissors and cut it, but I'm not. I'm going to add that little piece there in the middle. I'm going to take this off, 
and then this is going to go right on the center of my card just like this see how pretty that is then we're going to take our sentiment and we're also going to pop that up with some dimensionals this one is stuck to my thumb and we're going to kind of layer that right across where we did our stamping you know to give us a little guide just like that and then we're going to take that little flower that little pink flower that is hiding up here and we're gonna take a little side from the edge of the dimensionals and you can uh, pop this up I'm gonna pop it up right down there just like that and then to finish it off I'm gonna grab some of our rhinestones just our regular rhinestones I'm going to use my take your pick tool with the putty and I'm going to grab a, one of the bigger rhinestones and I'm going to put that there then one of the medium ones up here a little one I'm going to take a little one and put it in the center of that flower and then I'm going to put one more down there and there we have it there is this card what do you think Oh my gosh, I think it's so pretty. And I would love to see this card made in all different color combinations. I think it would just be gorgeous. So that is this card for you. And again, I use the Lovely You Bundle with a punch. It's going to be a must have with uh, this new catalog that's launching. If you would love to get the, the free tutorial for this card, make sure you sign up for my email newsletter. If you haven't done so already, you can click the link below to do that. If you're already on my email newsletter, then you're gonna get the PDF along with three other cards that I've made um, will be included in that. So click that link if you're not signed up so you can get it. And thank you for joining me today.